Hi, today I'd like to talk about the Dansk Silver Company. So by the name Dansk, you'd think it's a Danish company, but that's not the whole story. Actually, in 1954, a couple from America, Martha and Ted Niemenborg, went to Copenhagen and went to the Arts and Crafts Museum. There they found a unique silver pattern with teak handles and stainless ends. And they were, they really loved the pattern. So they looked up the designer and talked to him. His name was Jens Quinsenborg. He said that it was all handmade and couldn't be manufactured. But they convinced him that it could be manufactured. And so he became their des first designer and um, they created the company Dansk. It's the, the, um, the work started in their garage in Great Neck, New York in 1954. And it was an immediate success for this teak handled silverware. Quickly outgrew the garage and so they moved production to Denmark, France, Germany, Finland, and ultimately, of course, China, with a little bit of Japan in, in the middle of that. Anyway, uh, they, they did very well. They created a, a, a wealth of patterns of flatware and then other things for the home. They had um, coffee pots, water pitchers, trays, bowls, just everything you can imagine. And then a lot of items out of teak also, trays, serving trays, things like that. Quizard was a prolific designer. By 1982, he had designed over 2,000 different items for the dance company. At that point, the company was sold. But actually, my favorite dance pattern is called Tijorn, and it's a sterling pattern that's no longer made. And not easy to find. This week, we bought a really nice set of that pattern, by far the best we've ever had. And here it is. I love the knives, sterling handle, and then this sleek sort of oar-shaped stainless end on it. It's just so well crafted. Here's the butter spreader, very much alike. Some of the unique serving pieces. Here's a few forks, nice and long, well done. But here's the, here's the exciting part. I've never had one of these before. This is the iced tea spoon. I mean, that is truly unique and very rare. This cute little piece is a cocktail fork, again, uniquely designed. And here is a demi tasse spoon. I didn't even know what this was when I first saw it, but fortunately, they had a catalog, the couple who sold it to us, from when they bought the set in 1970. And so it showed all the pieces, and it showed a bunch of the hollowware. And I really did like the hollowware. It's called Kuban style. There's water pitchers, there's bowls, there's trays, there's a lot of stuff. And what the interesting thing about the hollowware, and there are many types of hollowware also, about this line was that the pieces were enameled in bright colors. So there's red and green and blue and yellow and black and white. And it's very striking and very modern looking. And so I really did like the hollower. It's not terribly expensive. If you uh, look on eBay, you can find pieces in the 20 to $75 range. And some of the pieces are quite large, you know, quite a good value. And the interesting part was they did various colors on various pieces at various times. And there's a good research article on the internet for when they did the various colors. For example, the black and white was featured by Dansk in, I think it was the early 1980s. And it must not have been successful. And so it was discontinued after one year. And so 
The discontinued items like that are quite collectible and, and they can be expensive. In front of me, there's some of the other patterns of Dansk. There are many. This one is called Fjord, and this is still made. It's great looking, and this is the one that they found in the Arts and Crafts Museum in 1954 that led to the entire company being created. And again, I love the wood handle. I love the, the shapes of the pieces and um, they're extremely well crafted and that's why the company was so successful. As I said, it was sold a number of times and then finally the Lenox company bought it and continues to make the flatware and some of the beautiful hollowware. So, thank you.